Vince bringing you another concealed carry pro tip. Uh, as most of you who frequent the forum know, and those of you that have talked to me about uh, concealed carry, I'm a huge advocate of the Springfield Armory XDM pistols for concealed carry. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why that is, but today we're going to talk about just one of them. And this is something that's come up on the forums here recently. Uh, the fact that the XDM and XD pistols uh, can virtually eliminate negligent discharge while reholstering. Uh, you've seen it quite a few times on, on YouTube, uh, various other places on the internet. People will be doing drills and whatnot, and uh, obviously you can have a negligent, those people will probably negligently discharge a, a frickin' uh, pencil. Uh, so you can't stop all of that from happening, but certain features on handguns like an XDM will help prevent a negligent discharge that will result in you accidentally shooting yourself while reholstering. So I'm going to show you guys the technique that I use to reholster, the technique that we teach here uh, for reholstering, uh, especially with the XDMs, to ensure that it's basically nearly impossible for you to negligently discharge your handgun while reholstering. As you can see here, I've got my Springfield XDM compact, uh, 9mm, nicely tucked away in my crossbreed holster. Um, now, when drawing, quite obviously, we advocate getting a firm grip as soon as you possibly can. So in that case, the grip safety doesn't really help at all in, in the event of a neg negligent discharge while you're drawing. Uh, but you should be practicing trigger control, and you shouldn't have to worry about that anyway. So when, we, when you draw, you punch down and then pull up and point immediately. When holstering, you change the grip position. So instead of holstering from here and having your grip as such, you should let go of that safety. Obviously, you should be practicing good trigger control here, keeping your finger outside the trigger guard, but instead of holstering like this with a full grip, engaging the, trigger, the uh, grip safety, you simply rotate your thumb up. That takes your hand position away from the grip safety. So instead of being like this, having the grip safety completely depressed, you just rotate your thumb to here, and that allows you to get a nice, firm holster without depressing the grip safety. Now obviously, you could still have something get in between there, but the chances are very slim. So in this capacity, without the grip safety depressed, this handgun will not fire. Okay? Now, while holstering, if something were to get a hold of the trigger, it will not fire. It can't fire because the grip safety is not engaged. So we'll do it, uh, you know, normal speed a couple times here. Obviously, when you when you pull the handgun, you're going to be, you know, more like that. You're going to immediately come out of your holster and point. In that instance, your thumb should be going in between the crossbreed and the handgun. Right there, I have the, I have the grip safety completely depressed at that point. When I come up and out, same thing, go right to the trigger, boom, boom. When I come back to holster, all I do is shift my thumb. From here to there. From there, I don't have to worry about depressing the grip safety, and I can use my thumb to positively engage the handgun in the holster. So as you can see, the uh, XDM or any handgun that has a grip safety like that, um, that's combined with a trigger safety, uh, which I don't know of any other handgun out there like that. I'm sure there may be something, but I haven't seen one. Um, this is one of the many reasons that I advocate carrying the uh, Springfield XDs and XDM line of pistols. I specifically like the XDMs. They're just a little smoother, a little more polished, and a more updated design than the XD. Um, when you're reholstering, a lot of people don't train for that. So that's what leads to a lot of the negligent discharges out there. Well, this simple technique, just by rotating your thumb up to the back of the slide, will move your palm off of that grip safety and make it virtually impossible for that gun to go off while you're reholstering.
there's not been anyone that we've had come through class that we have not been able to get to shoot an XDM effectively. Um, we've had them draw from concealment and engage a target uh, and, and do that very fast and safe. And we've done this with small little girls uh, all the way up to guys that, you know, make me look like a midget. So, um, you know, there is some merit to obviously feeling comfortable with your chosen handgun. But it's important to remember that a lot of these things stem from improper technique. Uh, a lot of people have never been trained or showed how to grip a handgun properly. Um, you know, you can see just about every video that you watch on the Internet. You know, th there's probably 90% of those people that have never had any instruction, and it shows by the type of grip that they use. So... The, the type of uh, handgun that you're shooting is very important uh, in the aspect that you'd be comfortable with it. Uh, but for people to say that the XDM is uh, somehow not in the running for, for concealed carry due to the fact that it has a grip safety, in my opinion, is the exact opposite of, of what the truth is. It lends itself very well to concealed carry due to the fact that it has a grip safety. And it's that much safer to carry concealed however, doesn't inhibit you at all from uh, deploying it and using it effectively. Well, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and check on the forums for any updates and I appreciate your guys' feedback.